uh, is, is music. And so, and I always love to um, to use sonification also to um, to work on the artistic side um, of, uh, of it. And what I um, exactly as you mentioned, what I what I did in uh, at the end of the last year. So again, that was in, in collaboration with, with NASA and for um, for a conference called Supercomputing last year. Uh, it was taking 36 years of, of, of data. So data are taken by by this spacecraft every every hour. Uh, so if you multiply uh, so 24 hours, so 24 measurements per hour times 36 years, so you have, you have something like 320,000 measurements. So uh, if we convert each of them into a music note, we have a melody with 300, so two, sorry, three, yes, 320,000 notes per for a spacecraft, oh. which is kind of, which would take probably weeks. To, oh, <laughs> to, it's to, really exactly. Amazing, to play, um, and the, the the beauty is that you can actually have this this, this melody, and and the and since this is the direct representation of the of the data of the of the spacecraft, you have the whole history of the of the spacecraft from its launch to now, which is still, still going on, so still running, uh, in uh, in in one single in one single melody. So you, you can actually listen to when the uh, when the spacecraft was approaching Jupiter, uh, and then Saturn, and then Neptune, Uranus, and uh, and then for Voyager One, you can actually listen when the when the spacecraft um, went out of the solar system. Uh, I choose to use the the um, um, the measurements coming from a, a detector called um, low energy proton count, and what it does is measuring the number of particles that are arriving from the sun. And from the outer space, and um, I've chosen that because this is a this gives an idea about um, how the how the spacecraft is is moving with respect to the sun, and how is is going farther and farther and farther, and how the um, um, how the so as, as, as an alternative way, if you like, to describe the journey of this of this spacecraft. 